Sharon Diesenhaus. We'll have more on the punishment handed out to a cop killer, plus all the day's news after a check of the weather in your neighborhood. Death penalty could be... ...and father when he was gunned down during a holdup in the Bronx. Now one of the men involved in the shooting is on his way to prison. New York One's Bronx reporter Marcus Solis was in the courtroom when the sentence was announced and has this report. Javier Miranda showed no emotion as he stood before a courtroom full of police officers, colleagues of murdered cop Sean McDonald. Through an interpreter, Miranda said he hoped the McDonald family could one day forgive him. Then Judge Martin Marcus told Miranda murder is a horrible crime regardless of the victim, but that the killing of a police officer was even worse. Sean McDonald died not because he was accidentally in the wrong place at the wrong time, not because ill fortune or fate put him at the mercy of a predator, but because he accepted the responsibility placed on every police officer to protect us by stepping voluntarily into harm's way. Marcus then sentenced Miranda to the maximum 25 years to life. The day that he was assassinated, I was at my father's funeral. I heard it on the news, and I came in, and it really hurt because I worked with the guy, you know, and it really broke my heart. I buried my father and my best friend. It hurts. McDonald was killed almost a year ago to the day. He was shot four times as he tried to break up a robbery in Highbridge. Miranda and another suspect, Rodolfo Rodriguez, were arrested, both saying the other was the trigger man. Rodriguez is still awaiting trial, but Miranda decided to plead guilty. He understands, of course, the possibility is that he's going to be in jail for a very long time and may never ever be eligible or be granted parole. Miranda's sentence will run concurrently with the robbery charge stemming from that night and with prior convictions in Manhattan, an agreement the Bronx District Attorney's Office had initially refused. The assistant DA and the McDonald family refused to comment on both the sentence and the upcoming trial. For the McDonald family, Friday sentencing marks the end of a chapter in a story that's not yet completely written. Rodolfo Rodriguez's trial begins next week. At Bronx Supreme Court, Marcus Solis, New York 1.